Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Obey. And as I've been going through the 45 or so long boxes of new old stock that I bought from a comic book store, um, comic book store closed down uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 years ago. Um, and these have been in storage in this guy's garage for approximately 14 years, and he sold them all to me. So I am pretty excited to go through them. Um, as with any new old stock, you know, I've got I've got several boxes that's just filled with uh, duplicate valiants, duplicate image, and stuff like that. But then I've got a bunch of other stuff, and this box contained a lot of Disney comics, and for some reason none of them are bagged. They're a little bit rough. Um, these are these are rough condition, but I was excited to get them anyway. I've never had any experience with a Walt Disney comic. Um, I had a a few like gold key books but yeah I'm completely unfamiliar with these I've never read one never even looked at one uh, never was that interested so I was just surprised to see these come up in the thing so I've got looks like Mickey Mouse I'm looking for an issue number 194 I think uh, Mickey Mouse and Goofy I don't see an issue number I don't know. This, this stuff is so like alien and weird to me. I don't even know where they keep the numbers on some of this stuff. Got a Donald Duck. And yeah. Where the hell's the issue number? That's totally confusing me. I don't even know where they like would keep it. Number 198. It says it inside, but I don't see it written anywhere on the outside. So I don't know anything about that. Um, Porky Pig, that one's a little rough. 25 cent cover. That one's a lot rough. Some of these are. Like I said, these things have never been bagged in their life and who knows how long they've been in this guy's garage. That one's got a nasty spine roll. But I could probably, probably get that flattened out, put it in a bag and it'd probably be all right. Um, Uncle Scrooge, that is one hell of a swimsuit he's wearing. I don't know what's going on with that. You can see, like this one is really tattered. Some of these just really are. Casper the Friendly Ghost. I never had a Casper comic. Donald Duck. It's just so weird that they don't have the issue numbers on the, on the cover. Uh, Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse, that's a pretty cool looking cover color, 182. It just seems really odd that, I mean, maybe that, I mean, this is clearly before you had like a big collector market. Issue 36, and that one's got a major fold in it. I don't have a comic press, I don't have anything like that. I don't even know if I can set that one up there. But I'll figure out if I can get these to squish down properly or what I can do with them. Looks like I got an Archie comic, Archie at Riverdale High. I always love Archie comics. I know it's not a Disney, but it was in this pile of Disney stuff, so I'm going to go with it. I'll always take Betty and Veronica's. I'm a Veronica fan. Um, Laugh, number 334. These are nice, like, low cover prices. I always appreciate that. Pep number 297, 1975. That's that's rough shape, but still, I mean, these books look so cool. I love old Archie books. It doesn't matter to me if they're in bad shape or not. And for the price I got all these, I mean, it's hard to hard to worry about it. Archie and Me number 108. The Beagle Boys. I didn't know they had their own comic. Um, Beagle Boys number 32. That's crazy. Daffy Duck. See, all of these are mostly intact. They're just like squished and like mistreated. It's not like they're missing pages. This one's cover is almost ready to fall off. And then like there, that one's in pretty decent shape. Yeah, I never understood putting the stickers directly on the covers, but I know a lot of places back in the day did that, just because there was no collector market. Uncle Scrooge, polishing his money, number one, four, 
115 or 141. Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. I'm assuming I gotta open it to find out the number 18. Yeah, to get the, the cover, the issue pr number. Little Lulu. I like that cover. That's probably one of the cooler covers I've seen so far. Um, Gladstone, probably because it's Gladstone and not Gold Key. And number 219, they actually give me the the issue number on the outside. Appreciate that, Gladstone. Uh, Walt Disney Comics and Stories, number 512. Gosh, they must have made these things forever. And these are even getting like later issues of stuff. Uncle Scrooge, number 211. Number 215. Number 210. Mickey Mouse, number 222. Walt Disney Comics and Stories. Yeah, that's nice. Number 511. Five, uh, Donald Duck, 252. Donald Duck, 248. Uncle Scrooge, 216. Walt Disney Comics and Stories, number 517. I'm gonna back up slightly because I feel like I'm running out of room. I've got Donald Duck, 254. Uh, Walt Disney Comics, 516. Briar Rabbit. Ew. Do you remember these old towel things? That's disgusting. Who would ever want to lay in that? Ugh, 249. <laughs> I've still seen convenience stores that still have these in their bathroom. It's, it's they're gross. Uh, Mickey Mouse, 242. Donald Duck, 251. Walt Disney Comics, 523. Chippendale. This is made by another manufacturer, so, or another company, so I don't know the number on that one either. It's a little on the crispy side. Issue number 50. Donald Duck and the Gilded Man, number 246. Walt Disney Comics and Stories, 514. This is a tiny, tiny car. I don't, I don't think that's actually correct. Um, Uncle Scrooge, number 222. I thought I already had that number come up, but a different cover. Uh, Mickey Mouse, 225. Yeah, I can't believe. To go from having none of these, Mickey Mouse, 231, to having, like, a shit ton of them. Uh, Mickey Mouse, 219. Mickey Mouse, 220. Looks like this one feels odd. Maybe it's just extra thick. Oh, 64 page classic Donald Duck. It's issue 250. Put it over there. Donald Duck number 300. And this one has got a weird. Like all of these have like a glossy cover. This has a matte cover. And it just feels dusty. Gosh, I don't like that. Ugh. But it is what it is. You know, issue 300. So, anyway, that, a couple of these rattier issues that won't exactly want to stand up. But yeah, these are just a handful in a box. And like I said, I got five or uh, 45 boxes to go through. So, that's what I got. Anyway, I hope you guys like it. Catch you guys later. Bye.